Hi there guys, welcome back to MSPowerUser.com. You're here with Tom and today we're having a look at the new Wordflow app for iPhone from Microsoft. So as you can see, the keyboard looks a lot like the default iOS keyboard. However, it does have a ton of customization options, which we'll get into a bit later. The swipe feature has made it over from Windows Phone 2, along with the word suggestions in the top bar. Both the iOS and Windows Phone versions are quite similar in appearance, so things do feel familiar and both work in the simple intuitive way that we're used to. Microsoft has also included a really quite strange one-handed mode called Arc Mode, which basically shifts the keyboard into an arc. It would definitely take some getting used to, but it's a cool and interesting approach to one-handed use. You can also flip the arc to the either side of the phone depending on which hand you use. As we stated earlier, Wordflow is really customizable too, so let's take a quick look at that now. Creating your own theme is always a fun option, so let's have a quick dive into that. You can apply an image to the keyboard here, so let's go for a Microsofty one, keep it all in theme. Um, once you've applied that crop, you can also adjust the general colours. The dark one seems pretty nice, we'll go with that. And you can also change the colours of the text and swipe box too. Once you've got it looking how you want it, you can save the theme and apply it. Or you could simply pick from the range of pre-installed themes from Microsoft. For now though, let's stick with the theme we made and give it a test run. There we have it, looking pretty nice I may add, just as you'd expect. Last but not least, let's also have a look at the settings menu. You can disable auto-correction here, allow it to predict contacts as you type, and toggle word learning on or off. There is also the option for helping improve word suggestions too. So that's it, Wordflow for iOS is looking pretty nice. You get all the features you'd expect, swipe, word suggestions and emojis are all present, and it feels like a well-designed and nicely implemented keyboard alternative. Wordflow is currently in a private beta, and it will be coming to users soon. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments section below, and be sure to visit mspoweruser.com for all future Microsoft updates. I've been Tom, and I'll see you guys in the next one.